Welcome back everybody. So this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on DJT Trump Media and Technology Group. So before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you are new here, consider subscribing. Now if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas, swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups, definitely check out that link down below in the description for Patreon. And now let's get right into DJT which is down 5.41% and that is not a crash. Now I actually made a video for you guys on Monday night to give you guys a technical breakdown on DJT so you guys can look at it and make some money if you want to. And what I said in my video that DJT can come down to 46 and as long as $46 right here can hold as a support you're going to see a move back up to 53 and also I said above 53 there will be more upside possibly going back up to 63 to retest this high right up here and what happened right after my video this thing came down to 46 went back up next day was green that was yesterday Tuesday all the way back up to 53 and even today hitting almost 53 and then pulling back and now trading at 48.81 at the closing holding above 46 also holding above rising 13 day moving average 47.60 now a lot of you guys are subscribed to my channel watching liking and sharing my videos and that is because of this one name DJT I've been covering this stock for two years now maybe even more than that now always there are some haters out there you know you can look at that video from Monday night you know there were some haters commenting on the video saying that technicals it's not going to work out here on uh, DJT this is trash you know it's going down it's crashing and all that guys I'm not even going back you know all the way here down to uh, 14 bucks just look at it from here let's say you got in at 28 just look at it from here it's still up I mean almost trading near 50 is this a crash absolutely not now also I did call this out before and I said that in my video Monday night that this thing was getting extremely, extremely overbought. You're going to see a pullback. Do not go and chase this stock anymore. If you're not here on this stock, wait for a pullback. And everything I did and everything I gave you guys so you guys can look at it and maybe make a decision for yourself and make some money, right? You know, I'm trying to help. And you guys saw that video Monday night right after my video. This thing came down to 46, went back up to 53. So guess what? Let's say you bought at 46, 47, even 48. You still made a decent amount of money just holding a couple hours or maybe even overnight. And you are still green. And you could have taken profit today. Now, haters will always say that. And that is why when I see people hating on DJT, that means what? Go and buy more. You know, go and buy even more. Because hating will make this stock go up even more. They hate this man so much, even this stock cannot survive. Guess what? You know, that is why this thing is up. Because they're hating on it. And it can actually blow up. And this thing can, you know, get a massive explosion. This thing can blow up and go up 200, 150, 200. And who knows where this thing can go. We just have to wait for more catalyst and especially election that is coming in next few months so Donald Trump goes right back into that office guess what this will be a rocket and you'll all witness that this thing going back up all the way up to 100 150 250 and anything is possible when I made all those videos this thing was down here and guess what same thing some haters came and say hey now what are you talking about you know this thing will never go up well I want you to look at it you know, go back and look at all my videos from down here. I made so many updates and I said I'm holding longer and stronger and you're going to see massive moves. Guess what, guys? The merger is done. We saw massive explosion before that. And then right after the merger, what happened? Almost got up to 80. So this thing already delivered what I said before. And now... If this thing is coming down and correcting itself, that is healthy. That is not a crash. And also, 
it's a buying opportunity as long as you know you know what you're doing in the market now haters will always say well you know it's going down it's got trump name you know and that's fine you know you could be a hater it doesn't matter you know people made money millions of dollars on djt and still holding shares and i don't think anybody's losing any money here on djt a lot of people had so much time to buy this thing right here it was down here for a long time guys i mean look at this and now massive explosion a lot of people took profit and i don't blame anyone if you're buying 1000 shares i'm just giving you guys examples and you sold 500 that's fine you're holding 500 long term and this is exactly what i did now i don't have 500 shares but this is exactly what i did i had a whole bunch of shares that i sold and then kept you know my long term position which is really low that i got in and those are staying guys it's not going anywhere because this thing can go up even more we might get more catalyst as we get closer to that election and this thing can explode all the way up to 100 150 200 anything is possible you know we got some names in the market going up massively without any catalyst anything just on an upgrade from you know uh just an analyst so why not this thing this is backed by trump it can do anything and anything is possible on djt but this is not for haters well you can just watch it as we make money on djt and a lot of people already made money and they're just jealous watching us making money on djt and buying this thing because they were hating when this thing was down they were hating right here they didn't buy any as a matter of fact what they did they showed it right into this hole and they got squeezed out on this massive run so on djt guys this is not for haters if you hate it ignore it and if you like it then buy it that's all i can say here on djt now here on djt going into next few sessions watch out so far we got a pullback but it's holding above 46 and that is that big level right here right now we need to watch and also if you look at my screen 20 day moving average now setting at 45 and then 50 day moving average now setting at 44 so in between 44 to 46 we do have strong support on djt but if that gives up that actually opens the door for a move down to this gap 2805 right here now as long as djt can hold above 46 right here that is still bullish and watch out for a breakout above 53 so far since my video monday night this thing came back and just consolidating in between 46 and 53 so if this thing breaks out above 53 easily can come up and retest five day moving average 55.45 and then possibly can come up and retest this high right here around 58 and then 63 now below 53 just like i said monday night you need to watch this strong support right here at 46 to 44 50 day moving average and below that you're going to see a dump off to close this gap possibly down here at 2805 right here so djt it's not done it's just cooling off we might get some consolidation right here on djt before another massive move to the upside so let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section on djt and i'll definitely keep you guys updated as always here on this stock